Hey everyone, girls, guys, babies, if babies are watching this, it's unlikely, but hello. Um, when I was putting some posts on my Facebook page for Learn Breezy English, I, well, I was sending some links to a web page. Uh, it's my favourite dictionary, um, the one I use a lot. I pass to my students, tell them to look at it as well. Um, OxfordDictionaries.com EN beforehand, that's the English one because it, they have one for America as well. And in fact, um, the reason it's so great is because if you don't know how to pronounce a word, this will tell you. You can just click on the word and, uh, and it will be spoken in an English accent if you want to speak like an English person. If you want to speak like an American, they do the American as well. How great is that? And I am posting today, on Monday, um, on the Facebook page, 12 synonyms for fool. Fool. So I'm going to go through those 12 with you now. Because I love an insult. Um, you know, not a strong insult, harsh, horrible name. I avoid those, but if it's like a funny little name, like a fool, um, and these other 12 synonym, synonyms, do you know what that means? Synonyms means that it's a word that means the same thing, a very similar word. So let's go through them. First one, dunce, dunce. So you could call someone a dunce, but where does dunce come from, Rob? I hear you all ask. Well, uh, poor John Dunn's Scottus, that's a fella, uh, the followers of Scottish theologian and scholar Duns were considered enemies um, of learning by 16th, 16th, that's a tough one even for us natives, 16th uh, century humanists and reformers who uh, referred to them as dunces, you see, because he was called Duns. Dunces. Um, so it's his fault. Um, if classroom or scholarly foolishness is the sticking point, then dunce is the right word for you. Uh, ignoramus. Ignoramus. This is a wonderful word. I never use it. I should use it more. Ignoramus. And where does that come from? Ignoramus was the endorsement given by a grand jury when they considered the prosecution's evidence for an indictment not sufficient to warrant the case going forward. The modern sense of ignoramus may come from the name of a character in George Ruggie's 1615 comedy, Ignoramus, which satirises the ignorance of lawyers. Uh, third one, dullard, dullard. Not only foolish, but dull too. So, if you're dull, it means you're boring. Uh, can you imagine that? Being boring and a fool. There's many of them. Um, dull comes from the Middle Dutch word dulliert from dull. Anyway, too much information. Unnecessary, but that's what I'm here for. For drongo. I've never heard of this word, drongo. Let's see what it means. A loan word from Malagsy. This Australian and New Zealand English word refers either or either. It's one of those words that's pronounced differently. Either, either. I use either. Um, either to a variety of songbird or to a stupid or incompetent person. The latter meaning is rep to come from the name of an Australian racehorse of the 1920s that consistently finished last or near last in races. That's a loser. A losing horse. Don't want to bet on that one. Five, klutz. I quite like this one, klutz. Oh, what a klutz. You total klutz. Um, from the Yiddish word klotz, meaning wooden block. Now, klutz refers to someone who is clumsy, awkward, or foolish. Yiddish uh, has been a particularly fertile source of these words, including sh, 
schmuck, putz, and schlemiel. <laughs> Haven't heard that one before. Six, a which little with them, little with them. And little is in parenthesis. So for those inclined to puns, oh, another pun. Um, the several villages in Lincolnshire, or Lincolnshire, uh, and Essex called Witham, offer a too tempting opportunity to pass up. Hence, someone from Little Witham is remarkable for their stupidity. Sorry, people live there. Um, and Witham has been used to refer to someone witless or a fool. So witless, two words there putting together, wit and less, means you don't have any wit. And wit is having humour, sense of humour. Um, seven, short one here, just silly billy. Love silly billy. Again, I don't use it. I I've heard it many times. I've been called it. When I was a child, I was called a silly billy. It's fun, you know, I didn't take it personally. And I probably was a bit of a silly billy. Uh, it's far better if their name is William. It goes without saying. Uh, yeah, mine isn't. Uh, my brother is called William, so or Bill, so he sometimes is a silly billy. Um, eight, nincompoop. Oh, this is a great one, nincompoop. What a wonderful uh, word. Nothing stings quite like this playground insult. Say it loud to yourself. Hear how hurtful those syllables are, nincompoop. If someone called me a nincompoop, I would just laugh at that, that because it's a funny word. Uh, and I would respect them for using it. Nine, poop stick. <laughs> poop stick. That sounds... A l well, let's see. Let's see what it means. I know what it means. It's a stick with poo on it, I guess. Um, keeping with the poop theme, if you're feeling light-hearted, you can deploy this obscurity and be in good company. The Oxford English Dictionary cites the... Ian Hay and P.G. Woodhouse play Bar Bar Black Sheep in the entry for this term. So I know P.G. Woodhouse, he's a wonderful writer. I've never read any of his books. I've downloaded them all. One of those things I need to do on a list, never ending list. Um, so uh, let me get back to this Black Sheep in the entry for this term. I believe she really does care for that poop stick. <laughs> Fancy loving a man called Osbert Bassington Bassington. True, I uh, I probably wouldn't love a man called that. Um, ten, Blockhead. Blockhead. I know the band Blockhead, but I don't know this as an insult. The OED, that's the Oxford English Dictionary, puts it best. A wooden head, a wooden block for hats or wigs, um, hence a head with no more intelligence in it than one of these. A blockish head. Ouch. Uh, Eleven, Dunderhead. <laughs> it's quite like that one, Dunderhead. Blockhead is only the tip of the iceberg when it comes to head name calling. Uh, there's also the wonderful sounding Dunderhead and a score of others, including Chucklehead, Knucklehead, Muttonhead, Puddinhead, Thickhead, Airhead and Pinhead. Also, my favourite card game, Shithead. Um, that's it, yeah, that's... Wonderful game, and it's a good insult as well. Call someone a shithead. Uh, Twelve, this is the last one. Dumbo. Now, I know about the elephant, about the film. I never use it as an insult, but you could do Dumbo. It means this, uh, it, it comes from the simple combination of dumb, stupid, and oh, Dumbo. Uh, it was popularised in the 1950s by the Disney film Dumbo. Uh, Poor cartoon elephants. Uh, and that's it. That is it. I've put it on the Facebook page. So do check that out and join it if you haven't already. And you can read a bit more information about it. Well, you can't. You can just read what I've just read. Um, so that's it. Nine and a half minutes. Got 30 seconds to go. What else is there to say? Nothing. Oh, yes, I should probably... Um, not advertise myself, but uh, ask you to uh, check the YouTube, subscribe to that, and Insta videos as well, and on the Facebook, do all that, subscribe, like, share, comment, all of that jazz. See you next week. Bye-bye.